Waldner leading 10-6. Jan Ove Waldner, the world's number one. Right-handed, shake hand grip. And uh, from the Spelwagen uh, Club in Stockholm. Oh, so. Well, the point you were mentioning about Gruber and the bounce at the far end, we'll see how Waldner copes. Uh, I fancy it was a psychological thing. And it's 11 6 now, and five points uh, the advantage uh, to the Swede. Pressure definitely on uh, Gruber now. He's got to try and stay in the rally. In fact, uh, a little bit lucky there that uh, Waldner just made a, an unforced error, as again he was in uh, dominating control. We can see from the service there, Waldner moving round, using his strong forehand loop. And Gruber forced to retreat and uh, return the ball. Waldner keeps the pressure on, forcing him away from the table all the time, looking to take the ball top of the bounce and uh, power home a, a winner. Gruber just managing to stay in the rally again. Waldner goes for a shot wide down the backhand and just misses. Well, there you have four points, uh, the difference. And uh, the Swede in control at the moment. This is the problem now for Grubber. It's four or five points adrift. The pressure's on, and he's trying, I think, just to do a little bit too much. Waldner returned a tight service there and, and uh, just a little bit anxious. Yeah. So, four points, the difference now. 9.13. Oh, the pressure from Volner uh, there was building up. And he got his just reward, actually. And now Andrzej Gruber of Poland is in trouble. It's quite evident that when the rally develops into a forehand-to-forehand -forehand rally, then Wagner has the advantage. Gruber's very keen to get his backhand into the rally. And uh, as he did so there. So two games all if you've just joined us. And we're in the fifth and deciding game. And uh, the world number one, uh, Jan Ovi Volner here. In the dark blue top, leading 15 to 10 over the bronze medalist in the world championships, Andrzej Gruber of Poland. And uh, the crowd... Uh, a little restless, but uh, there's an awful lot of support for the very best in table tennis because uh, these two men have uh, given a marvellous display. This is uh, the toughest uh, semi-final, certainly, in these uh, Masters championships. Ah! And that is why the crowds love to come to see Grubber. And Grubber being... Uh, uh, cheered there uh, by a whole host of uh, avid supporters of this game. Now, Gruber has the reputation of entertaining. He's not afraid to hit the ball. He puts beautiful loop plays, as uh, Kevin has said several times, off the backhand. He enjoys that. Watch the way the top spin, ball, the top spin on the ball causes it to loop down towards the table and shoot from it. Volner, good control, though, until the final execution. Possibly the best uh, rally of the match so far, and uh, Grubber desperately needed that to try and keep himself in the game. It'll certainly have given him a great deal of uh, confidence, that's for sure. And uh, it was 17-11 now, and uh, all that, just four points away um, from a place in the final. Yes. And that was an error. And uh, uh, Grubber, if anything, tried to rush it there. If he'd have just held back and played himself into that uh, rally, he may well have succeeded. But he rushed it, he snatched at it, and uh, Waldner uh, put on even more pressure. Oh, a little bit fortunate, that, by uh, Grubber. He'll have to really pull something out of the bag here, being 12-18 down. He must try and dominate now off of his serves. Uh, the problem he's got is that Waldner is a very, very cool customer. Even at the end of the game, he's still uh, keeping his temperament. 
Well, Voldner's pinned up against the backboard there. And uh, the crowd, the far side there, cheering for Grubber. And he almost allowed himself a smile. Watch this. It'll chop. Powerful uh, looping backhand from uh, Gruber there. And he's right in control over the ball, forcing his opponent back to the wall. And how Waldner would enjoy getting forward to the table, but he's not being allowed to do so. And from that position, it's very difficult to control and certainly to uh, put pressure on an opponent. And that was a devastating uh, forehand uh, play. And that looked a little long. And at one point then away, it's 14-20, one point then away from a place in the final for Waldner. <gasps> the 2015, he serves now, and surely he won't let this go. Uh, 2016, very shaky service from the world champion. Oh, and another mistake. Well, only three points down now, and one wouldn't expect this with uh, Volner's uh, service. Uh, he's still got a chance, though. It's unlikely uh, that he'll uh, play the same a rhythm on the next uh, service. He really is a good server and always in control. Having said that, Kevin, two points down. He's certainly getting tight. Uh, two more points and Grubber's back in the match. Now this is important for Grubber. Oh, and Gruber couldn't take it. And that was the point that gave the match to Jan Ovi Volner, the world number one, uh, the final, fifth and final game, 21-18. But how well Gruber fought back in that uh, final stages of that game. Amazing piece of play. Both players well away from the table eventually in this onslaught of uh, uh, topspin play. And uh, Jan Ovi Volner uh, got his reward, even though it was a shaky reward, at the end of uh, a very closely contested game. Three games to two then, a uh, victory for Jan Ovi Volna of Sweden, and he goes through uh, to the final. It really was a fine, fine last point. Watch this. If only the top spin could have gone on, but it's too low, it's in the net, and Gruber is beaten. Gruber's gone, and...